while many organizations are planning to use Microsoft Fabric, there are still concerns around the costs associated with Microsoft Fabric capacities. In this video series, I will walk you through the possible options to manage the cost of owning Fabric capacities, including automating pause and resuming uh, the capacity during specific hours uh, on a daily basis and some other techniques such as uh, upscaling and downscaling in specific time frame. Hi, I'm Sohail Bakhshi from biinsight.com and welcome to my channel where I share my experience in Microsoft Fabric and Power BI with you. To get a better understanding of uh, how Microsoft Fabric capacities are priced, let's head to Microsoft official website and have a look at the information in there. Let's scroll down where uh, it explains how the entire uh, pricing model works. And there are two different tiers or two different categories of pricing, pricing model. For each capacity, we may choose to go with pay as you go or go with reservation. Depending on region that we select, uh, these numbers would be different. So I selected uh, New Zealand dollars, which is my currency. Let's uh, change this to Australia. Say Australia Southeast. As you can see in F2 uh, capacity, which gives me two capacity units, will cost around $510 per month uh, per capacity or if I choose to go with reservation, which would be one year commitment, I can get 41% saving. If my organization happened to go with F64, which is equivalent to Power BI Premium P1, it will cost me around 16 grand per month if I want to select uh, pay as you go. Otherwise, I will pay almost 10 grand per month. The cost saving that I'm referring to are not about reservation. Reservation, we get a fixed capacity for a fixed term. The main topic of this series would be pay as you go capacities. So let's say I want to purchase an uh, F8 and I want to run it eight hours a day. The equation would be pretty simple. A quick search uh, will show me the uh, equation of how the uh, costs are calculated. 18 cents. And, and this is uh, US dollars, 18 cents times the number of capacity units that we get on 730 hours of running the capacity. Let's go back to uh, the pricing page and have a look at that. Change it to price per hour. It will cost me almost 70 cents per hour. Eight hours times 70 cents would cost me almost $5 a day. If we time it five days a week, it would be $28 per week times four weeks a month, $112 per month, which is way cheaper than the cost that we get on a monthly basis if we go for a full month. Let's have a look at uh, the different options. One option is to pause and resume the capacity at a certain uh, period in time every day. We keep the capacity running only during the weekdays or we are turning it off during the weekends. Uh, the implementation of this approach would be a little bit uh, complex if we want to include public holidays. Let's keep it as simple as possible. So this video is just the initial video and initial setup for us to start working with Azure Logic Apps to control our uh, capacity costs. With that, let's begin. We need to type in portal.azure.com to get into the Azure portal and then to Resume a fabric capacity. We select our fabric capacity, which is this one, as you can see, and I'll click on it to get to the fabric capacity. It is on a pause status right now. I'll click on this resume button to just start the fabric capacity. And to pause it, we just click on the pause button to pause the fabric capacity. 
Here's the thing, we want to automate the entire process. On, on my Azure portal, the service that we are after is Logic Apps, which um, I have it on, on my page because I just used it recently. Quickly search for it, Logic Apps, and there you go. Click on Logic Apps, and then uh, as you can see, I have a bunch of uh, different uh, Logic Apps workflows here. Uh, I go ahead and create a new one. Uh, I select my Azure subscription and uh, the resource group. So this is uh, my resource group and I need to add a name. I stick to the defaults and uh, on the plan type, I go the, uh, with the uh, consumption plan and then I click preview and create, then click create. After the deployment is finished, we can click on the go to resource, which navigates us directly to the new Logic Apps that we create. From here, we start uh, developing our workflow. I click on the edit button. For the very first step, we need to add a trigger. The trigger that I want is currents. So I type currents and I add it as a trigger. The interval that I want Logic Apps workflow to run would be once an hour, and I select my time zone, which is New Zealand, so open in Wellington, and we can put a start time for the workflow to run uh, with this specific format that you see. So we have date separated by dashes and then a capital T time in 24 hour format, a capital Z. So we go ahead and fill that out. I just collapse that. So now I click on the plus to add another action, to, to add an action to my logic app. The action that I am after is pausing fabric capacity. Uh, to do that, we need to use Azure Resource Manager and from the Azure Resource Manager, invoke resource operation. I just select my subscription resource group, a name space of the resource provider, which in this case is Microsoft.Fabric, which will show up on the dropdown. Short resource ID is the resource name, which in this case uh, would be our uh, fabric capacity. The fabric capacity that I want to pause and resume. All right, so let's just uh, copy that text across and go back to the previous page and put that in over here. The API version that we use here, the action that we want to apply is uh, resume for now. Uh, my capacity is not running right at the second. Let me show you. So uh, the status of uh, my capacity is paused. I want to run uh, this capacity uh, from uh, Logic Apps. So I move back to my Logic App and I collapse this and I save the changes and I go back to the Logic App itself. I click on the run and I click on the refresh, which will show on the run history that this is running. Navigates me to another page and shows the progress of my Logic Apps. If I switch back to my fabric capacity, I would expect it to run. Status is now active and it is running. What if I want to pause my capacity? Let's say my capacity status is on uh, running and active. Let's go back to here and go back to my logic apps i'll click edit the only thing i need to change is the action name so i will change this action name to suspend save go back run and start running hit the refresh button so it is running now if i quickly go back to the other page you will see that the status is pausing. So after a wee while, the status will be updated to pause. In this video, we have learned how to create a new Logic Apps workflow and uh, how to pause and resume our fabric capacity. In the next videos, 
We use this solution that we already built to implement uh, the entire solution for pausing and resuming our capacity based on specific needs and requirements that we may have. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, so stay tuned for the next ones where we develop on the existing solution. Thank you very much. <music>